Hello everyone. My name is Jalla Teresa and I'm going to talk my interest to be treated by a psychiatrist for my mental health problems. For me, it is really, really a great opportunity to be seen by a psychiatrist when having mental health problems because a psychiatrist is someone who has knowledge, experience and interest to care for mental health problems. Also, psychiatrists has the capacity to listen, pay more attention and can fully understand me when I express my emotional problems than any other professionals. From my experience, I considered that many physicians pay more attention to treat the physical illness of the patient without considering the psychological pain of the patient, which has great impact on the life of the patient. This is the situation I have passed when I was suffering from cardiac illness and, and depression for about seven years. But psychiatrists could understand my emotional problems. So I'm really interested to be seen by psychiatrists for my mental health problems. It has also a great advantage for psychiatrists to be engaged with people with lived experience of mental health problems because people with lived experience talk the burden of the, the, the burden of the problem from their life situations. Also, psychiatrists can believe they understand the impact of the problem on the individual, on the family and on the community by engaging with people with lived experience. Also, by engaging with people with lived experience, psychiatrists can use their voices and their experience as an input to treat other patients. Also, psychiatrists can identify different types of coping mechanisms used by people with lived experience. Also, psychiatrists can identify the treatment gap and the policy gap by engaging with people with lived experience. So, by working with people with lived experience, it is important to promote mental health care service. Thank you. Hello, my name is Claire Chalo and I am a mental health and human rights consultant and educator. I also have lived experience with depression and have, have managed to overcome. I would like to say a few things to psychiatrists. One is that I'd like you to know that by the time a patient arrives at your offices, it's already uh, daunting enough to arrive at your office with a lot of tainted mental uh, perspectives going on in your mind and I would like you to put this in consideration um, when a patient walks in. The second thing is as a patient I would like to feel treated with equity and respect and dignity as a cancer patient walking into a cancer center. So with these things in mind I would also like to give the example that if you as a doctor for example are not well and are not at your full uh, physical capacity, say you have a cold, I cannot expect a very bad cold at that. I cannot expect that you will deliver the same kind of um, treatment to me as when you were well. The same thing goes for mental health patients. When mental health patients are in crisis, they're not at their best. When they, once they're out of the crisis state, you find that they are able to engage with society at the highest capacity. I would like you to also consider um, encouraging your patients to use their agency for better and to look beyond their illness into what they can do for humanity and what change they can make as patients. Encourage them to look beyond their illness, encourage them to look beyond uh, consultation with psychiatrists and into the power that they have. Hi, my name is Oreme Karinge from Nairobi, Kenya, and I'm a person with lived experience. Now today I'd like to address our psychiatrists 
who are you who are very important in our treatment and we really do appreciate you the first thing that i would like to say and i'm i'm doing this video based on my own experience initially when i was diagnosed i saw three different psychiatrists but i did not feel content because they never used to take time with me it was just a less than five minutes um, session and then they're out but then i got to meet my current psychiatrist who i have been with since 2017. now the difference or the reason why i stayed with her was because of the empathy that she had towards me she took time with me she took time to explain what depression and anxiety is she took time to explain to me some of the medications. she took time to explain to me about self-care you know and that really really meant a lot to me and especially at that time i wasn't in a position to afford psychiatric and psychological treatment so because of the person that she is in terms of taking time to um, address some of these issues it actually made it made it easier for me to adjust to this new um, way of life to know what to expect and uh, things like that so the first thing is empathy i don't think psychiatrists really have that but uh, that is one thing that i as a person with lived experience i'm sure also other people with lived experience have had the same experience the second thing is and this is a very controversial um topic i must say and this is the issue about being over medicated we with lived experience I cannot give a percentage, but a very big, a, a larger, a large number of people have an issue with being over medicated. It is a conversation that has been in the mental health space, and we are just wondering what can be done about this. I will go back to my experience. As I said, my psycho, my psychiatrist, I I have not felt like she has over medicated me in any situation. Even when I have relapses. She'll always increase my medication and then bring it down. So based on that, just wanted to let our psychiatrists know as well, we do feel like we are over being over medicated and we just like to see what other solution can there be around that as opposed to being drugged. So that's pretty much it for me. Again, I'd like to thank you all our psychiatrists for uh, being there and for your service. And we keep pushing on in the mental health space. Hello, my name is Jennifer Dafwat. I come from and live in Nigeria, in West Africa, and I am a person with lived mental experience treating uh, mood depressive disorders, aka clinical depression. Um, I was diagnosed in 2021, and I have been treating for shy of say seven eight months now and in my experience both working with a psychiatrist and a psychologist um, there are a few things that i will wish and desire that my psychiatrist or the psychiatrist i've worked with do better and some of the things that i'm going to talk about cuts across both in my experience with working with a psycho psychologist as well as a psychiatrist and for me I think one of the first things is I would like to be treated as capable of still capable of making decisions that are beneficial to me yes I am treating a mental illness but it does not automatically take away my ability to still rationally think I understand the conditioning and environment and other conditions that are at play. However, being treated as an, as an adult still able to make decisions that can be beneficial to me or to myself will be very important to me. I may be at risk because again, I have I am a suicide survivor, so yes, I, there are times when I may be at risk to myself and possibly the people around me, but I am not always at risk. I have moments of clarity and having my doctors, my psychiatrist and my psychologist, particularly my psychiatrist, acknowledge that will be 
very beneficial. The second thing I would like to point out or talk about is medication. In my experience, at the start of my medication, I didn't get as much information about, yes, there were talks of, oh, these are the possible side effects, and these are some of the things you may or may not experience. Psychiatrists should have at least a basic knowledge of uh, the real principles of uh, recovery. Um, to be able, should be able to understand that uh, um, a person with a mental health condition is not only uh, a diagnosis. Um, these persons uh, can uh, heal. These persons can um, try it. Uh, these persons can uh, recover, uh, and uh, there is no. Uh, fatality uh, to have a mental illness. Uh, this is only a path, uh, this is only a step uh, towards something else. Mental health professionals should work on projects with uh, the persons, something oriented towards the future. Um, this project should be built upon the expectations of the person, their will, their dreams. This comes from my experience as a peer support worker in France. And we saw that the persons um, that were uh, driven in this way and not in the sense of the will or the expectations of the mental health uh, professionals or uh, the social workers were being evaluated. They were uh, strengthened, they were um, pushed forward, um, and they were able to uh, be more autonomous. Um, build something upon, on the dreams of the persons is really key in uh, recovery. People with deep experience and uh, with mental health conditions are uh, like uh, any other. Um, they have a life, they have a past, they have a history, they have a relationships, they have successes, uh, and uh, they should not be treated only as uh, failures or a, only as a, a reference with their failures. Um, they are not only a disease, not only a diagnostic, uh, but also um, uh, persons uh, as a whole uh, and they should be treated uh, uh, this way.